Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even if his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one begged to build, but did not have the sources to finish. Or, what can marching into battle will not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? If not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To understand this gospel, we must look at the context. He could have spoken at another time and said the same thing, but he said it. St. Luke the Evangelist commands, he says, at that time, many people accompanied Jesus. Success. Many people were with Jesus. They followed him. We know that this was what was happening because next he said, he turned and said to them, many people were following Jesus and he said to them, stop. Why do you follow me? On another occasion, he even told them clearly, you follow me because you have eaten bread until satisfied. After the multiplication of the loaves and fish. Before following me, you have to be aware of what is following and titles. The Lord knows our hearts. He loved us infinitely, even though He knows our hearts. Nevertheless, He always suffers, and we make Him suffer, precisely because we are not capable of being coherent with the following that we might have. That is why the Lord gives us these two examples. He who wants to build a tower, first, he sits down to calculate if he has the money to finish it. The king who is going to wage war, first calculates if he can win or not. And if not, he makes a peace agreement. I give an example, which is surely nothing, nothing compared to the suffering of Christ, in which, in part, surely also, is related to that suffering of Christ. Every year we promote, explain, what the school of gratitude of Franciscans of Mary are. Also this year, a month ago, every year, many people write to us asking for formation. What are the online schools? of gratitude? Some are face to face. What formation is received? Well, they ask for formation. They want to learn to be grateful. They want to receive Catholic formation. They want to live in a Catholic community, especially in a context of great confusion, as there is right now. Great, great, so far since October. I have already done. I have already registered 
more than 800 people and I still have about a thousand emails left. There are two of us practically working full time for that. I still have more than thousand emails to answer. Well, approximately 30% after having registered, not only having registered information until then completely normal. You ask for information about something. You are not interested. You are done. No. After having registered and having said, Oh, yes, yes, I'm interested. I live in such and such city. The time that interests me to participate is this, this day and this time. Okay. After having registering done, their enthusiasm is gone. Their favor is gone. They were enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Their fervor is gone. Just this morning, a woman. Oh, I just realized that I have a lot of things. And you don't realize that you had a lot of things before you sign up? Because each registration represents seven different steps. That is approximately between 15 to 20 minutes to register. With those seven steps, each person, do you realize how much work it is to register a hundred people or a 10 to a thousand more? So that later you say, oh, it's just that I don't feel anything anymore. It is just that my fervor has passed. It is just that I haven't realized that I had so many things, that I was too busy to have realized it sooner, my daughter, to have realized it sooner, because you have wasted time. Therefore, you have done harm, you have hurt, you have disappointed, you have offended that person, and I am not referring only to myself, but to that person who is in the catechesis. There are more than 600 Franciscans of Mary catechists who run the schools of gratitude. That person who writes to you over and over and over again. You were informed that you had the school of gratitude the day, the time you accepted. I send you the link, the link for you to connect with the online schools. Silence, not answer. Second email, third email from the catechist, fifth email from the catechist, silence, no response. It's just that my fervor has passed away. This is what Jesus is referring to. The feeling is one thing. Sentimentalism is another one that has nothing to do with feeling or love. Sentimentalism is an offensive because the feeling has to be Translate it into works, while sentimentalism is something that promises and does not fulfill. It serves no purpose other than the cause of harm. The words of Jesus, who was surely tired of so many sentimentalistic, well, Jesus' words are very clear. The man who is going to build the tower, first he sits down to calculate to estimate. Let us see. Dear lady, before you sign up, you need to know that you were very busy, right? That you are so important, so externally important, but you already knew that you were so externally important before you signed up. Let us thank God things seriously, because otherwise we do harm. The first one who harms is the Lord. He is the first one we harm. We promise Him and then nothing. Jesus says in today's Gospel is very clear and very harsh. Everyone among you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. If anyone comes after me and does not put aside his father, his mother, his wife and his children, and his brothers and sisters, 
and even himself, he cannot be my disciple. You have to know this, we say. Well, but I, I have had a temptation. I have had fall. Very well. Then get up from that fall and keep walking. I've had had bad strike. I have had a bump. Get up from the hole and keep walking. However, we are talking about something else. We are talking about a sin. We are talking about sentimentalistic. You cannot build absolutely nothing with sin, except for the sand castles the children make on the beaches and that the first wave that comes widespread away. That is what sentimentalism is. Sand, which can have an appearance, is worthless. You need to build a lease, a lease, with retractor paving stones, a lease. Not to mention if you use cement, concrete, beams, and iron beams, steel as support. Do you want to follow Jesus? Really? Really? Think it through. Think it through. Don't tell Jesus, yes, 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 and then, oh, it is yet that my fervor has passed away. I don't feel it anymore. Do you really want to follow Jesus? Listen to this gospel. He who does not postpone everything cannot be my disciple. Do not carry a weight by the emotions of a moment. Do you really want to follow Jesus? Put him in the first place in your life. If it does not mean that you don't have to love your father, your mother, your works, your business, of course, but Jesus in the first place in your life. Don't commit to anything if you are not sure that you cannot at least give it a seriously try. Well, you may have a problem, an illness, like anyone else, but not the later you say, Oh, I just realized that I was very busy. That it's not one or two, I repeat, 30%, that it has cost us a lot of hours of work, and especially for the poor lay catechists who are the ones who run the schools of gratitude. It is a great disappointment and a great suffering because they write, they write, and then they don't answer from the other end. How sad. Are those people who are offended? It is Christ present in those people who is offended. Welcome to the following of Christ. Welcome. But please listen to this gospel. Listen to it before building the tower. See if you have the money to finish building it. Amen.